Hey guys, I am coming to you in my bathrobe <laughs> and my weird hair because I was just trying on my Halloween costume um, and uh, yeah, it, it went well. <laughs> um, I got my costume and it did not fit at all so I had to like slice open the arms and sew in panels of fabric <laughs> so that they would fit around my chunky arms. Um, but uh, I think it worked. So anyway, I digress. <laughs> I just wanted to do a little intro video here because in this video I'm going to show you all of my food prep for the week. And it's just sort of a series of clips, um, of cooking clips, and you won't really see my face. So I wanted you to see my face <laughs> and uh, just wanted to give a little, a little intro to that. So... This is my meal plan that I showed you in my previous video that I wrote out in my little book. And uh, I think I followed it um, exactly how I wrote it down. And if I didn't, then I will let you know in like a voiceover in the next clips. So uh, enjoy. Bye. Okay, here is the grocery haul for week one. Um, please pardon that sound. It's the oven preheating so um, I did pretty well in being able to get everything on my prep list um, the only thing I wasn't able to get is I needed five sweet potatoes and they only had two <laughs> so um, I'll probably just go back in a couple days and get some more instead of being able to prep for the whole week um, so right now I'm going to prepare my breakfast oats um, in the crock pot and I am going to roast all of the veggies so the beets and sweet potatoes um, I guess that's it for the roasting and then I'm gonna make like a corn salad um, with the corn radish cilantro green onion um, and then that mixture is gonna go on top of the salad greens and kale for a salad um, because I feel like it's a tastier way to have like a dressing <laughs> without having to put a dressing oh and the other thing they didn't have is I wanted tahini um, and they were all out of tahini at the grocery store but honestly I actually don't like tahini I always just think you're supposed to have it on sweet potatoes because that's what other healthy people do. <laughs> so instead of tahini, I'm going to just use um, a cashew butter and water type mixture. So I will see you again in a moment. Okay, so these two dishes are ready to go in the oven. This is three large beets, um, just a little bit of water in the bottom to keep them from sticking and some plain onion powder. Um, this is the two sweet potatoes and some whole garlic cloves. And then on top of these, I put, same thing, a little bit of water. And then this dirt seasoning, um, which is salt-free um, seasoning and some plain cayenne. Okay, so these guys are going in the oven to roast for about an hour. And next up in the oven is this tofu, which is just regular extra firm tofu that I pressed and then sliced and then pretty much encrusted <laughs> in this um, spicy Sichuan five spice. Um, I think this is just like from Costco, <laughs> but it's very good. This one does have salt in it, um, which I'll have to count into my... Um, into my calculations in my book um, but uh, yeah it had so much flavor that it's worth it all right so this is the finished um, corn relish I guess you could call it it's just gonna be my um, salad topper so um, in lieu of dressing I'm gonna put like a half a cup of this on top um, the original intention for the black beans was to have them cooked, uh, like, you know, hot <laughs> with um, the kale for dinners. 
um, but I thought I might prefer it mixed in with the corn relish um, on top of a salad for lunch instead of dinner. So um, yeah, so now it's got black beans, corn, radish, cilantro, scallions, garlic, lime juice, fresh jalapeno, and um, something else. Oh yeah, just a dash of that cayenne I put in there. Um, oh, and then like a little splash of rice wine vinegar. So that's it. Uh, here is the whole dish all together with the addition of three little clementines. Here I am just water sauteing the kale with fresh garlic, red pepper flakes, and a little bit of lemon balsamic vinegar. Here are the dinners all portioned out. That is two slices of the tofu, then there's the sweet potato, the beets, and then the um, kale with garlic. Uh, this whole dish I cover in a little bit of homemade curry sauce and eat it all together. This curry sauce that I made is just coconut milk from a can and then mustard seeds, garlic, ginger, um, some green curry paste, and then a couple different spices like turmeric and cumin. Sorry for the gross photo on this one. I forgot to take a video or photo before I started scooping it. But this is just the oats in the crock pot. It is regular oats and water, two frozen bananas, and a bunch of cinnamon. And here it is all portioned out. Um, I actually got, you know, a lot. I got like nine portions of this, um, which is nice. So I'll have them going into next week. And then I topped it with this organic coconut palm syrup. And last up is this turmeric tonic, which I made. Um, turmeric is extremely high in anti-inflammatory properties so I wanted to have a little bit of it every day so this is uh, turmeric um, unsweetened cashew milk a little bit of that coconut palm sugar and some fresh ginger and lemon juice and I just blended it up until it was smooth and I've been drinking a little bit every morning and here it is all together, the oats with the syrup and the turmeric tonic in the cute little penguin bottle, all for breakfast. Okay, so there you have it. That was all my food that I prepped for the week. And then I also showed you a day's worth of my meals. So I am eating the same thing every day. I am on, I think, just the second day. Um, when you're seeing this, I think I'll be on the second day of eating this plan. Um, so I have eaten one full day of it and it was delicious and I'm very pleased with it. I feel like I'm getting enough food and enough calories and enough energy and I don't know, you know, it's too early to tell if the anti-inflammatory properties are working or, um, you know, if I'm gonna lose weight, whatever, it's only been a day. Um, but I'm excited to see. So I also, uh, last night did my first sort of, um, rebounding workout. <laughs> um, rebounder, if you don't recall, is just a fancy term for trampoline. <laughs> and I got, um, this real nice trampoline. And, um, up until now, I've just been like getting on it and sort of, getting used to it and, you know, getting my bearings on it. Um, my balance is not that good right now, so I didn't want to just go full, you know, crazy on it and just do like a full workout. So every day I just kind of got on, hopped around a little, got a good feel for it. And um, last night I just did 10 minutes 
set a timer to 10 minutes and um, it was good. I actually broke a little sweat at the end and uh, had a lot of fun. Just put on some music and just, I didn't do a formal workout. They do have formal workouts and I'm going to work my way up to those. Um, but I think those are more like 25 to like 45 minutes and I'll get there. But um, stamina wise is fine. The problem that I'm having is that I am having, um, you know, recurring numbness in my hands and feet. And so, uh, you know, after the first like seven minutes of my 10 minutes on the trampoline, uh, my feet, my toes went totally numb and, and made me nervous. You know, I, I don't want to be jumping up and down on something that I don't really have total control over. Um, so hopefully, you know, that will get better or I can just work around it. But regardless, I've talked too long. I'm sorry. This is the end of the video. I will come back at you um, probably at the end of the week, tell you how it went and see if I lost any weight during the first week. And then next week I will show you my food prep as well. So um, hope it went well. Happy Halloween and I'll talk to you soon.